Do you know I brought a very special couple of friends this morning just to make Percy feel much better and happier? Now, one of my friends is very shy. So I want you boys and girls to say, Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm feeling very shy. And I have another friend, too. His name is Jacob. Can you say hello, Jacob? Hello. They're going to tell part of the story. Jacob, did you know that Sarah died? Oh, that nice old lady? Yes, she died. And I don't know what Abraham is going to do. He doesn't know either. He doesn't have any place to bury her. He's going to buy a cave. A cave? Yes, a cave. And that's just what Abraham did. He went to the head honchos of the town he lived in, and he said, I want to buy a cave, and I'll pay a full price. And they said, oh, we like you. You can just have the cave. No, he said, I want to do the right thing. I will pay the full price. And the owner of the cave in the field said, well, it's worth 400 silver pieces, but what's that between you and me? We're friends. And Abraham said, nope, I want to buy the cave, and I will pay you the full price. He didn't haggle. He didn't talk back. He just counted out his silver and weighed it, and they gave him a deed to the cave, and he buried his beloved Sarah. Now, we have to think about how we can show what we believe by how we act. God gave Abraham the field in very ordinary circumstances. It was the down payment for the whole land that he was to get. So what do you think? Rebecca, what do you think? I think that Jacob should tell us what happened at school Friday. Yes, you should. Okay. There was this guy. He was really mean. And I felt so angry, I just wanted to suck it. <laughs> That's not funny. Yes, it is. You're a sock, and you wanted to suck him. <laughs> now, that is an example of how we might behave. Like when you feel like socking your brother or your sister. Why didn't Jacob sock him? Because he thought God might not be happy if he socked his friend. He wasn't really his friend. So you need to think about how to behave like what you believe. Now, I brought this bag not just to hide my friends, but because when I go to the grocery store, I always take my bags because I care about the environment. And I even use and reuse and reuse and reuse all my fruit and veggie bags until they're just despicable or torn because I care about the environment. And when I go through the check stand, I always say, how are you today? because I care about the people who are serving me. So those are little ways that we can show what we believe by how we act. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for Abraham and for his beloved Sarah. And we pray that you will be with us every day as we don't sock people, as we do say kind things to others. In Jesus' name, amen.